Hi guys, John Velasco again here for From Phone. Right now I'm just going to do a couple of benchmark tests here with the HTC Sensation 4G for T-Mobile's T -Mobile's version. I've been using the handset just for a little bit now. And as far as just normal operation, it's fairly smoothly, a nice uh, responsive uh, feel to it thanks to the 1.2 gigahertz dual core processor inside. So it should offer fantastic and responsive experience. And you can tell with all the 3D effects, it runs fairly smoothly. Normal operations uh, such as kinetic scrolling, opening up apps, it does it in a fairly snappy manner. Uh, not that much evidence of any lag or slowdown so far that I've been checking it out. So let's just uh, run the first test here. Let's run Quadrant, see what kind of numbers the numbers is going to put up. And we're just going to wait for that. And after this, we'll run a second test of it just to make sure it gets to the same tally again. And we'll run an alternative uh, benchmark test with an the NT2 benchmark app. So as far as some of the graphical, um, graph graphical test here, uh, it's running, this one here is running at roughly around 40 frames per second on the average, and you can tell when it turns the corners, it's not that, not that much lag or slowdown with it. I'm just going to wait for this one to complete. The next graphical uh, test here, it's going to show up, and it's putting in roughly around 60 frames per second, so definitely nice smooth movements, and of course gaming shouldn't be too much of a problem with this device. And the last graphical test here, uh, running roughly around 26 or 25 frames per second. So here's here's the result. And it looks like it put in a score of 2043 on Quadrant, which is, uh, of course, better than the uh, previous devices. The Nexus One, Motorola Droid X, the HTC Evo 4G, all on version 2.2 and up. Uh, a decent score nonetheless with this handset. Let's just run it one more time, see where it is. And of course, uh, still might not hit the marks set by some of the uh, top tiered handsets out there like the LG Optimus 2X or even the Samsung Galaxy S2, but either way, the the uh, HTC Sensation 4G still is putting up some good numbers here. And of course, the user experience is ultimately what matters the most. This uh, graphical test right now, it's running roughly around, looks like 30 frames per second on the average. Next one should load up here. This one was again, again, consistently getting roughly around 60 frames per second frame rate, so that's pretty nice and fluid. And last one, uh, roughly around, it's like 25 on the average. It's gonna finish up here, so let's take a look at this. So it looks like this time around, they put in a lot better num uh, results here. 23.11 on Quadrant, so better scores from the previous run, so still a pretty good, pretty good number. And lastly, I'm just going to show you the results I already got with the uh, Antutu benchmark test. I'm just going to go back here real quick and show you what the total score is. Here are all the results just by running it. Uh, managed to get a total score of 32.47 when you put that into the score chart. Still above, still high there, but not quite hitting the mark set by both the Motorola Zoom and the LG Optimus 2X. You could tell those two devices are edging out the uh, the HTC Sensation 4G 3247, but still nice, nice number it puts up. And of course, the user operation is what matters the most. So I'll be testing it out more a little bit later. In the meantime, if you want to learn more about the HTC Sensation 4G, you can check out our website, phonerena.com.